hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today's video is gonna be about my um my perfume collection because i love to smell good and i have i have some good um fragrances here and today's video is in collaboration with dossier dossier I don't know if you guys ever heard of them, but they're like really popular on YouTube and Instagram. So um, they sent me a box and it's not sponsored. It's just they send it to me and I'm telling you guys if I like it and just to tell you about the product. So they send it to you and this is what it looks like. Of course, I opened it because um, I wanted to test it out. And it comes with a lot of pamphlet in here and it tells you the notes and it tells you the inspiration and it tells you how it works so these are inspired by designer fragrance no they're not knockoff they're inspired so um, if you have say for example you have say Gucci guilty and you don't want to spend the price for a Gucci guilty perfume you can buy one from dossier dossier I'm gonna say dossier so the one that I chose is floral five and the notes in this one is peony lychee rose and the middle no the, those are the top notes the middle notes are rose magnolia and muguette and then the base note is amber cedarwood and honey and this is inspired by chloe's chloe <laughs> and uh it's the i don't know how to say that <laughs> but this is what the um the box in the packaging look like the way it works it comes with like a other the sample size so you get this to test it out to see if you really like the fragrance if you like it then you go ahead and you open the big the big bottle if you don't like it you have 30 days um to return it no questions asked just return it you get your money back but this cannot be opened if you open it then you cannot return it so let me try let me use my sample size and let me try. I'm gonna spray it on the paper. You know like when you go to like Macy's and something and let's spray it on the paper and see. Mmm. Mmm. This one smells good. It smells it smells grown, but it smells flirty. So I definitely, definitely like this one. Let me let me take the the bottle out of the package. Seeing that I really like the smell of this one, I'm gonna take the bottle out and put that right there. And this is what it looks like. The bottle looks like it's uh, very chic. I like that bottle. And the, the fragrance I got is Floral Five. I'm not sure if I um if I said that. So because I like this one so much, wait, I should wait until I test the other one before I spray it on. So the second one I got is, the second one I have is Chanel number no. 5. So I got this one because I already have the original Chanel number no. 5 and I wanted to see, I wanted to see how close, um, how close of a smell, is that how you say? I just want to see if they smell like each other. Is what I'm trying to say. So, this is um, this is inspired by Chanel Number no. Five, and the top notes are Neroli, Yang Lang. I can't say the other word. The middle note is Jasmine and May Rose, and then the base note is Sandalwood and Vidier. I like Sandalwood, so let's test the sample and see. Mmm, this do smell like Chanel number no. five. Mmm, this is grown and sexy. This is a grown and sexy fragrance. Oh, I'm definitely keeping this one. But for today, this one um smell like a, a more of a nighttime smell. And this is called Floral 3. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put on Floral 5. Because this smell more like a daytime fragrance. So let me put it. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it smells so good. Um, I'll have the link in my description box if you want to try it out. I think these are $29. So, again, you're not breaking the bank. You could buy a designer, designer fragrance for $120. Or you can get an inspired fragrance for $29. <laughs> okay, guys. So, those are my two newest fragrances. And then these are... My per this is my, perf my perfume collection. This is most of the perfume that I own. These are the ones that I like the best. Because if I put everything I own, this video is gonna be way too long. So the first one I wanna talk about, which is my second newest one from the one I just sprayed on myself, is um, Libre by YSL. And this is what the packaging looks like. Very sexy. This is a grown and sexy package, grown and sexy fragrance. This would be, oh, it smells so good. This would be the perfect um, date night uh, fragrance. I'm not gonna read the notes for all of this because the video is gonna be way too long. So this one would be the perfect um, date night fragrance. And for me, if you wanna, if you'd like to try fragrances I like, I guess I'm, I like fragrances more on the sweeter side. So I like it really sweet, but not childish. I like uh, sweet and flirty, if that makes sense. So the next one I have is Olympia. And this is what I have left. Uh, this is my everyday fragrance. Like when I wanna go run errands, but I wanna smell I want to smell nice, you know. This is like my little Aaron's perfume. I used to use this. This used to be my my going out perfume, but I got so used to it, I started using it as an everyday fragrance. And the bottle is just so cute, so sexy, classy. And the next one I want to talk about is Car Caroline Herrera. And this is this is a uh, this good girl or bad girl? One of them. And this is the style. It looks like the Louboutin red bottoms kind of sort of with the high heel and I got this one for my birthday last year and it smells so good again this one is more of a night fragrance to me um, going out with the girls you want to smell good this one I would wear this one look how sexy that is oh. and this this little bottle black orchid by Tom Ford this smells amazing amazing this is definitely a fall nighttime fragrance like this smells so good at night i wore it during the daytime but i don't feel like it was the same i'm the type of person who i i um my fragrance i have like a nighttime fragrance i have daytime fragrance i feel like they smell different on um, different the different type of day time of day i should say like all over the place but uh, this one smells so good i got this one in a sample from sephora and then i was like i have to get it i have to get it this one was so expensive i think this tiny bottle was maybe a hundred or something like that but i will definitely be repurchasing this one and this is the only fragrance i have that i would say that i baby it because it's so expensive but it smells so good and this one is not fruity this one is more like of a woodsy type of sweet like woody and sweet smells so good next is um, Victor and Raw flower bomb and this is definitely a daytime fragrance this would smell nice going to brunch um, this is on the sweeter side but at the same time is not too sweet I think the sweetest perfume I have right now is the white so but this is what the packaging looks like. I've had this one. This is like my second or my third bottle of this one. I really, really like this. And I was using, I started to use this as my everyday perfume, but I was like, girl, you gotta stop. It's not cheap. <laughs> and the next one is The One by Dosi and Gabbana. And when I'm not sure what perfume I wanna wear, this is my go-to when I'm not sure what type of mood I'm in. I'm not sure of like where I'm going. This smells good at night. This smells good um, at daytime. This is my go-to perfume. I would say this one is my um, number one go-to perfume when I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know what I'm feeling, but I know what I want to smell like. That's my go-to perfume. Next is my Gucci Guilty. I remember everybody was raving about this one time. 
on um, YouTube. Oh, this is good. This is definitely sweet. This is a sweet fragrance, but I love this. I think this is my second bottle of this one. I have a lot in here. I have a lot in here, so this one will last me. It's been lasting me a while. Uh, this one smells really good. And this one I would wear either day or night. This one don't matter. Day or night. And this is a safe fragrance too. This is being like my um my second safe fragrance. If I don't use um, the one by Dolce & Gabbana, that's my second uh, favorite safe scent. And this is the YSL one I was talking about. Um, that it's very sweet so if you don't like sweet 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 fragrances you won't like this one I really really like this one as you can see it's a little bit left I just ordered like four perfumes yesterday because I'm running low on a lot of these so I really like this one this is definitely a daytime going to eat with the girls going brunch or it could even be like uh, going to the mall or running errands and stuff like that just not doing too much but you smell beautiful <laughs> so I really like that one and I know I'm saying I really like because I picked out the ones that I like the best to show you guys now I have Mademoiselle by Coco Chanel I got this for my birthday maybe like two years ago I got this about two years ago now this one is grown and sexy this one is saying I have my stuff together Try not to curse because my friend daughter watched my videos. <laughs> this one says uh, you have your stuff together. It smells powdery. There's nothing sweet about this one. This is definitely not sweet. I smell a little powder. I don't really know how to describe fragrances. I don't know the top notes, the bottom notes. I just know it smells good. This is just if you know you're gonna go shopping and you go you're gonna go to those luxury boutique you're gonna go to Louis Fendi Prada whatever this is a good daytime fragrance to wear and if you know you're gonna go to like a high-hand fancy restaurant at nighttime I feel like this is also good to wear at night yeah this would smell nice at nighttime you know your little black dress your little mademoiselle perfume on so I like that one I don't use it a lot as you can see, I still have more than half the bottle left in here because this one is definitely a special occasion, occasion, and it's an acquired smell. My friend, she hates it. She says I smell like grandma, but I was like, no, I smell like I'm grown and sexy. The next one I have is another Chanel, and this is Chance by Chanel. This one is so sweet, but it smells good. It, it has um, that little powdery smell, but it's more on the sweeter side. Where would I wear this? I feel like this smells better at nighttime. I feel like every time I remember wearing this, it's during the night because it's kind of strong. I feel like I like wearing stronger scents at night and the more fruity, airy fragrances, I like wearing them at daytime. This could just be like hanging out at nighttime. I don't know if I would say this would be a date night, um, date night fragrance because it is kind of strong. You don't want to overpower your date with um, perfume. fragrance I want to talk about is black opium and this is the pink one this was a limited edition one and I bought the big bottle and I bought this based on a review and based on a girl that I normally like the fragrance that she liked but this one is just there's nothing special about this one for me it smells like it smells like medicine when I did my um, my Sephora, when I bought it, I did my Sephora haul and I smelled it the first time. It just, it smells so good to me at first, but the more I smell it, is the more it smells like medicine. So I just use, I use this to go to work. This is my work perfume. I'll use this and then I'll use a body spray over it and it smells good together with the body spray. But this one, I would not recommend. I don't know why I even put it on here because this is supposed to be all my favorites, but this one, no, I just think I put it on here because the bottle is pretty, but that's about it. However, I don't know if that's even correct, but whatever. I have the black opium. Um, why is so black? Okay, so it's why is so black opium, and this is black opium, but this is the the holiday one that they have. I don't like the the holiday limited edition one, but baby, the original one. Um. I didn't use a lot of it. It's probably halfway. 
I have a, a backup one. My friend bought me one for my birthday about two years ago and I bought myself one earlier in the year. So I have two of these. This is that, so this would be a date night um, fragrance that's not overpowering. You see how I said the Chanel will be too much, you know, you might be smelling too for your date. This one is sexy, it's grown, you smell inviting, it's sweet, but not childlike. Child it's sweet and sexy and flirty and I wear this when I'm going. I wouldn't say when I'm going on a date because I haven't been on that much date to wear all of that, but i worn it on a date before and it's like, what are you wearing? You smell so good. I can't tell you. And then next I have this, um, this Gucci one. It's Flora by Gucci. And I got this one as a birthday gift. Okay, all of these fragrances seems like it's a birthday gift, but I got this one as a birthday gift. And at first I didn't like it, but it grew on me. I feel like this one, even though it's a floral smell, I feel like it smells, um, it smells better at nighttime. It's a little too florally for me, but I, I, I do like it. I do like it. So it's almost gone. Would I repurchase? No, but I like it. I like it for now. Whoa, I didn't break anything. <laughs> Okay, I think that's everything that's on here. And this is everything that I just talked about. My top favorite fragrances except one. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.